Hey guys, it's your girl again doing a review on a dark spot remover soap that I recently purchased here while in London. It's called Pure Egyptian Magic Whitening Acne Remover Facial Soap. I paid £5 for this soap. I was so excited to use this soap because me, based on my previous experiences, anytime I buy a product that says 7 days result, it worked. When I bought Perfect White Face Cream, it said 7 days, it worked. I bought the Tamar Vipeda Soap 7 Day Soap, it worked. So I purchased this. I saw it online because as you know, my skin just started breaking out out of nowhere now and it left some dark marks. And you know, my channel is about clearing the dark marks, okay? Um, so I bought this. I was so excited. It says the acne removing soap. It has a pigment corrector apricot scrub. Um, it removes dark spots, acne, and pimples and exfoliates dead skin. I noticed that over here, since I've been washing my face over here, I've been having a lot of dead skin on my face. So look at the ingredients over here. Like it, there are so many ingredients in this soap. I was so excited to try it. So let me read out some of it. I have um, citric acid, glycerin, white 10, white sphere, acolyte, um, bio white, Cobio, Cobio white, um, niacinamide, leucinine, um, Eva white, alpha, uh, what else, vitamin, CFL, I white, osmo white, yuzu seed extract, pure white powder, sepi white, carrot extract, gold perfume, apricot scrub bead. Um, yeah, and it's an aqua milk protein, alpha butrin, G white, and I look at these ingredients, and a lot of these ingredients are very good with rapid whitening and picking up dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So I was so excited to buy this. I actually purchased this online from a merchant, a retail merchant. I did not purchase it from the direct um maker of this soap which they have here mgc Phil philippines cosmetics um because i i never knew about this company i just came across this this soap just going online looking at your regular uh cosmetic website that sell bleaching things and so and so on okay so this is saying that made in philippines so when i looked up this company it actually is in nigeria or something like that somewhere in africa so yeah and i was like wow they're putting philippines all over it but it's not a filipino product but it does have good ingredients if the ingredients are not is true yeah but i think people are just green branding their things their cosmetic products as philippines or thailand because they know thailand and philippines have a good good product yeah so um here's the thing now so i got this soap i was so excited was, the shipping was fast about four days i paid five pounds for it plus shipping look when i open it look right out the box i was so disappointed and then the thing is it says it expires november 30 2025 and i'm like oh my god like this is rotten like i don't know if this is a fungus I don't know but i really want to try this soap i really want to try this soap so bad i'm even considering cutting like cutting off piece of it to use and still use it there's still some brown speck i don't know what they put in it that is just it's spoiled so anyway i told the retailer that i bought it from that it's spoiled and i also notified that i said kindly like maybe next time when you guys are shipping out products open the box and see if the thing if the product is okay or not before you ship it out because they're basically wasting my time and their time wasting money you know so it would have been easier if after they pick up the soap they just open the box and check you know that should be protocol in any business where you're selling products check to make sure everything is okay so i told them that they were like oh we're a busy company we got shot stuff we don't have time to open up products and everything we sell i was like okay well i'm not well i didn't tell them that but in my head i'm like okay i will never shop with you again because i don't want to go through this again like, 
buying product and then when you get it it's a rot man you can't use it then you have to beg them back for your money and all these things so you want to have a stink attitude like that okay so they gave me back my money or whatever but i will not be shopping with them again i'm not gonna post their name because i mean i don't want to stop nobody shine or nothing like that nobody business i'm not like that but i'm just saying look out for these people that have these websites that are selling dark spot remover soaps and creams because they're not checking their products before they ship it this is the second time this has happened to me that i got no actually the third time that i received spoiled products not from this store but just shopping online so i'm trying to reconsider shopping online for face products because this right here is disgusting so when i actually went on these people website i didn't even see this soap on there so i don't know if this is they discontinued this soap or this is a fake or what but the people i bought it from was like oh it's a manufacturing problem so basically you knew that it was spoiled and you still sent it out because they're probably thinking oh people are not gonna um ask for their money back or whatever whatever but i did i want my money back and i'm so upset i never would ship something like this to so if i have my own business i would make sure i check my products before i ship it because i care about my people you understand so if you ever tried this product please let me know did it work put something in the um in the comments and let me know i'm gonna see if i can find this somewhere because i really really want to try it you know and um subscribe subscribe hit me up send a message let me know what's going on how you feel about this has anything like this happened to you when you purchase things online what do you do about this like buying a product that's spoiled and its expiration date is saying it's supposed to spoil all the way next year okay let me know guys